Among the primal fitness crowd, there is the notion that there's a natural, optimal way to move, live and train. We've distanced ourselves from the environment that shaped our evolution, and as such this is what has introduced so many of our modern maladies. While I agree with this to some extent, I do feel that it simplifies matters somewhat, and it could be a limited perspective. Because the real superpower of the human body is adaptability. Look at modern indigenous tribes, the closest thing we have to natural humans, and we see huge variations in their lifestyles and abilities. The Tarahumara tribe are capable of running distances of 200 miles in a single session. The Bajau Sea Nomads feature enlarged spleens that allow them to die for up to 13 minutes at a time. The Paraha people take naps of 15 minutes to 2 hours at most. They don't sleep for a single stint. Which of these is natural? And throughout our evolution we would have encountered countless more unique challenges and environments. We are malleable and impermanent. We now know that the brain is capable of rewiring itself en masse via brain plasticity, to the extent that it's possible to lose an entire hemisphere and see enough rewiring in the remaining half of the brain to retain the majority of cognitive function, to the extent that a blind person can learn to navigate their environment with sonar. Even our bones are constantly being broken down and reabsorbed. They've been likened to banks for storing minerals. All these abilities will allow us to evolve and to thrive in nearly any environment. And this is why we can actually look at things like kyphosis, anterior pelvic tilts, obesity, short attention spans, and poor hip and ankle mobility as adaptive. These are adaptations to sitting, to surviving on plentiful, albeit processed food, to using the internet. Moreover, unlike many cultures before us, we've adapted our environments to us. Nearly everything in our environment is the perfect height, such that we don't need to stoop or to climb. We are lean, mean, sitting and walking machines. That is not wrong. But if you want to be able to kick ass, if you want to be strong to be useful, then this environment will develop a limited skill set. Many people will attempt to change this by returning to what they see as more natural movement patterns and lifestyles. They do this with workouts that last 30 to 60 minutes, four times a week. Training for three hours out of 168 each week is a drop in the ocean. Those movements are anomalies. You're not giving your body the incentive to adapt, because for the vast majority of the time it still doesn't need to. So perhaps you push harder to try and create more stimulus in that short space of time. And of course, you injure yourself. Your body is not prepared for that kind of movement. If you really want to trigger profound changes, then you need to change the environment. Change the environment, change the organism. As I mean your habits, the way you move, the way you think. Push yourself to keep learning and growing. And don't be limited by what you think is natural for the human body. Your scope and potential is nearly limitless. So the only question is, what do you want to become? So if you found this video useful and interesting guys, something a little bit different, if you did please leave a like and share it around, that helps me out immensely. And if you like the idea of this uncommon training and, and a more philosophical approach to fitness, then you might enjoy my ebook and training program, Super Functional Training. You'll find a link to that in the description down below, and there's currently a discount on whilst many of us are still stuck in lockdown. Be sure to check out Grant's channel, I'll put the link to that in the description down below as well. He's now uploading weekly tutorials on various different martial arts moves, and the first one on the spin hook kick is awesome. Thanks a ton for watching guys, hope you're all doing well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.